Hi folks. So the first thing that I want to show you today is this target that I've made and then I'll tell you a little bit about the pistol that I use on my indoor range. Now this target I made for doing some pistol shooting and the reason that I've started doing some pistol shooting is that the weather is deteriorating. We've had a lot of rain lately and I've just not been able to get out to use either the crossbow or the longbow. So I treated myself to a little pistol, fires BBs, I'll show you that in a sec. And of course you do need to have a target. So this is the target which I designed and made myself. Firstly, on the top we've got used diet cola cans. Diet cola because that's what my daughter likes to drink and cola is her favourite drink. So these can be simply shot off the supporting beam. Next on this particular target we have some swinging cans and the idea with these is when the BBs hit the cans, they'll swing and you try and get all four cans swinging at the same time. So that's these particular cans which I remove now. Next is the straightforward circular target which I made out of ordinary uh, duplicating paper used my compasses and coloured them in with the grandchildren's crayons. Now this is designed so that when the BB pellets go through the paper on the target, they then hit some cloth which is hanging down the back. This will absorb the energy in the pellets and then the pellets will drop down behind this perspex and collect in the bottom. So that way when I hit the target I won't have to look far for the BB pellets because they'll be collected in this box. The reason that I've put this cloth around here is again when the BBs hit this cloth will absorb the energy and they will just then drop down to the floor. I've done a similar thing on the indoor range in that behind the targets I've got some old curtains which when the BB pellets hit it uh, they won't rebound they'll just go straight down to the ground. The thing is with these BB pellets, if they hit like the wooden beam here or the edges here, they do rebound and they come straight back at you. And for that reason it's just as well to wear safety glasses. Right, so that's a little bit about the target. Now, the actual gun that I bought came in this box. Um, it's a very nice little gun. When you look at the picture, ah, you think, doesn't it look like the real thing? Black. And in fact, when these guns first came out, villains used them for holding up members of the general public, going into banks with them. And they're perfectly safe because what they fired just were these small plastic pellets. The big problem came was when the police saw somebody with one of these guns that looked like the real McCoy, they didn't know better, they drew their arms and shot them dead. So the British government decided that something had to be done about this and rather than ban these guns altogether they made sure that the police or anybody else would realise that these were toy guns and the way they solved the problem is this. There's the gun in the box and notice it's a nice orangey colour. Not the straightforward black, orangey colour and Anybody who sees this particular gun will think, it's a toy, and indeed it is. This gun can be used in two forms, this particular form, which is the larger version, and this larger version has a magazine which is quite big and quite heavy. In fact, the magazine gives this pistol in that form its weight. Um, these are the small pellets, very, very small. Uh, 2000 in there in fact. Now if you want to use it as a smaller gun you can take the barrel extension off, 
remove that particular magazine and place in it that smaller one. And it's a much smaller handgun, depending upon what you want, you want to do. So the actual cost of this bit of equipment was £10 for the gun, £2.50 for these pellets, and that was all it cost me. The target I made from bits and pieces that I had in my shed. The garage acts as um, an indoor range, and in a while I will uh, show you that range and show just how uh, you can use a gun. That will be in the next video. So, I hope you found this interesting, the plastic toy BB gun, and in the next video you'll see just how it performs. Anyhow, thanks for listening as usual, and I'll see you soon.